Hello, common sensors. Today we're going to take a look at a woman named Lenka Coloma, who is part of an organization called the Freedom to Breathe Agency. Now, when I first uh, came across this woman, I did not think or know that she was probably a sovereign citizen. So we're going to take a look at one video that kind of shows what she stands for with the Freedom to Breathe Agency. And then we're going to take a look at another video, both of them very short, that shows that it appears to me that she is in fact a sovereign citizen. And it's a perfect illustration of how the sovereign citizen ideology can mix with other theories, right? This woman is general um, anti-mask, anti, -mask, anti uh, looks like anti-coronavirus sort of, uh, you know, ideas, and it mixes in with the sovereign citizen ideas. So I hope you enjoy these videos and my take on them. Thank you for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, I would ask that you check out my new channel, Tips from a Lawyer. It's going to give you legal information and legal tips, condensed, easy to read, easy to digest, easy to listen to. Now, before we watch these videos and get into my analysis, raise your cup, your glass, in the air. One thing sovereign citizens can't take away from us is the great taste of coffee. Sip with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. All right, let's watch these videos. Thank you guys being um, challenging people on these uh, subjects. Okay, so we are at FTBA, the Freedom to Breathe Agency. We are with the people organization making sure that people's uh, constitutional rights, civil and federal laws are not broken, okay? And so you personally need to take this to your manager because you personally can be sued for this, okay? I'm just following the store policy. I'm right trying now. to. You have yes. probably paid $15 an hour or $12 an hour, okay? okay. But you are putting yourself wow. into a major wow. legal liability. Okay. You personally, wow. okay? okay. Okay, you guys need to be careful. From the looks of this video, you would just assume that Miss Coloma is an anti-masker. Now, I have several problems with this video because she's really scaring the crap out of a, a, a out of a worker in this store who's just trying to pay and just trying to do her job, and then she tells this woman to take this letter to her manager, you take it to the manager. You take it to the manager. Don't pick on someone who's just trying to help somebody in a store. Come on, if you want your message delivered to the manager, you take it to the manager yourself. Now, nothing in there indicated that she was a sovereign citizen. However, let's watch this next video. New California event, and I have Lenka with FTBA, and she's going to tell us about her organization. Yes, so FTBA, Freedom to Breathe Agency, was uh, created to ensure that people do not only know their rights, but they are taught how to exercise them, how to claim them, and how to stand up to the existing tyranny that's going on throughout our country. That is so fabulous. And how long have you been doing this? So we've been officially doing this for close to a year. And we have now uh, developed a very powerful system. We are filing affidavits. Uh, we are basically calling out any public servant who took an oath and is not upholding their oath to uh, protect, defend, and obey the Constitution for the United States from all enemies, uh, domestic and foreign. And and, you know, are violating our due process of law and are causing harm to our communities. So we are filing affidavits. Uh, we are working uh, with the sheriffs, uh, who are the chief law enforcement officers, very powerful people in our counties. And it is their job to ensure that law is followed in our counties, that we have law and order. And if we have criminal or we have domestic enemy, that they remove them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Are you, have you been infected with the virus? 
Okay. No, um, uh, no, because actually it's it's another thing that I specialize in. I specialize in immunology, so I help people to bring strong, healthy bodies, healthy immune systems. So you never have to fear anything, any pathogen, yeah. and that's the way to 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 go. That you are completely independent of the big pharma, and you just thrive in life. That's I'm the same way. I have not received the virus. And do you practice social distancing and wearing your mask? Not at all. And it's not a mask. I call it the muzzle because it's a social, uh, it's a psychological tool of oppression. So I always, uh, you know, go around. I love to smile at people because that's what was given to me. Uh, and I will not let anyone to enslave me and to obstruct the most important nutrient, which is oxygen. That's right. Well, thank you so much for pushing our Constitution, our First Amendment right. And if people want to find you, where do they go? Um, yeah, so our uh, website is ftbagency.com. That's Frank Tom Boy Agency.com. Well, there you have it. Thank you. And about halfway through this interview, the sovereign citizen ideology comes out. She says, well, they're making a lot of progress. They're doing a lot of things. They're filing affidavits, possibly fraudulent legal documents. Well, maybe not fraudulent, but legal documents that are frivolous, okay, and could possibly lead to these people getting into a lot of trouble by just filing affidavits, okay? The paper terrorism stuff, the courts have really started to crack down on it. Then she gets into oaths saying, oh, we're holding these people to their oaths. We're holding these people to their oaths. One thing, listen, everyone, you really got to, there's really, I can't drive this home enough because it's important in, in all areas of politics. People can have reasonable differences in their interpretation of the Constitution. Let me say that again. Reasonable people can disagree on their interpretation of the Constitution. So whether you're on the left or you're on the right, you believe that you hold the key to the Constitution. You don't. Reasonable people can have differences of opinion in just everyday language. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to hold people to their oath, okay? But the final kicker, what really tells us that this woman is a sovereign citizen is when she talks about the sheriffs being the ultimate authority. Now, she says she's working with the sheriffs. Well, they're probably just appeasing her because they're trying to keep peace in there community. So I, I just discovered this woman. She's primarily appears to be, you know, an anti-masker, which is, you know, the mask phenomenon may more or less be over. And at this point going forward, wear a mask if you want to. Don't wear a mask if you don't want to. Um, but that whole movement it, it probably is going to be non-existent in, in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months. However, the sovereign citizen ideas will likely move, will, will likely continue to live because they are just so ridiculous and extreme. I don't know how to get rid of them. Uh, but we're going to try here on this channel. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto. Joe, the lawyer. This woman's ideas were ludicrous, extreme, um, and uh, ridiculous when it comes to the sovereign citizen stuff. And she shouldn't be bullying people in a store. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Check out my new channel, Tips from a Lawyer. Link is in the description below. All right, everybody. Peace out.